Hey, how you doing? This is Trader Joe's. I'm doing another video here on a review of my dog, Charlie. All right, Charlie is a Boston Terrier. Um, ordinarily, they're they're black and white. Uh, he's brown and white. Um, so he's got kind of like uh, they would say. Some people say he's brindle, but I don't see any brindle. I just see brown. Um, he weighs about 20 pounds, less, maybe 19 pounds or so. Um, He's a little over a year. Um, I got him in January of last year, so January this year he was one year. I, I mean, I, I had him for one year. Um, August 17th is his, is his birthday. And uh, so this August 17th he'll be two in uh, 2011. All right, so 2011, August 17th he'll be two years old. So he's, uh, he's still a pup. He's still. Uh, He's full grown, I guess. He may fill out with more um, muscle mass on him, but he's nice and slender, which I like. He has, uh, his eyes are brownish. Yeah, like, uh, almost like a tiger eye. See that? And um, I like his markings. He has, uh, it's fairly even markings on him. The white and brown are pretty evenly spaced. I see some of them that don't have that. Uh, I think he's very cute. Uh, he, he can sometimes make sounds that, you know, other dogs that I've seen like him don't make. Um, if, if there's like certain noises going on, like a, like a siren or, or a horn or something like that, or uh, a machine, you know, he may howl a little bit. Generally, they're pretty quiet. They don't really make much uh, vocalizations, these dogs. Um, I'm not sure how long they live. Hopefully, they live a long, long time. Um, you know, it may. You know, uh, I, I used to have a uh, when I grew up. This is the first dog I ever had with, uh, that I raised. Um, when I was growing up, I had uh, a Bichon Frise, and that lived about 20 years. That dog. Um, I don't. I, I I think I remember seeing something about these having a lifespan of like 15 years. Um, hopefully he lives longer than that. He's scratching because generally I usually have this uh, on him. It's like a little shirt to keep him warm. It's a little fleece uh, shirt. And um, I took it off so I, you can see the colors for the video. And so he's a little itchy because he's um, uh, not used to having the shirt off during this time of the year. And um, that's basically it. Uh, I got him at a place that was a, um, it's a, like a pet, not a pet store, they call it a breeder store, and, um, he cost around $600 U.S., and, uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal. He had sometimes one of his, te his teeth get caught on his, the side of his lip over there, um, but he's nice, you know, I keep him at, you know, he sleeps in my bed with me at night. Uh, it keeps me warm. I keep him warm. You know, he lets me know if, if there's any uh, people coming near the house. Uh, the, generally, he's pretty quiet. He doesn't. They don't. They don't bark much. Uh, he doesn't need much maintenance in terms of his hair. Uh, he doesn't have to have it cut. I've never had him anything done to him other than, uh, you know, having vet, the vets giving him shots and stuff like that, and um, you know few emergencies that happened with him when uh, he had some heat exhaustion last summer um, and he had a problem with one of his teeth at one point when he was young very young but he's uh, he's good you know he doesn't cost me anything um, I even have only cut his nails once in a while uh, I walk him on the pavement and that generally wears down his, his paws uh, so his paws don't get long nails so he's he's nice you know so if you get a Boston Terrier, I recommend them. They're nice and, nice and quiet and pretty good natured. They're good with kids. Um, they get they could be a little... Um, uh, I wouldn't say they're aggressive at all. Um, you know, like they're in the family of... Um, they're in the... Uh, I forget what they call it. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the dog. There's a... They're a mixture of a terrier and a English bulldog. So that's uh, where they originally came. And originally they were a, a fighting dog, and they were quite a, a bit larger. So like they're in like a like a pit bull kind of a family. 
but uh, they've bred them down in terms of their size so that they end up being about the size, which is, um, he's about maybe a foot and a half high, and that's the overall size of them here. Um, and they usually go over 20 pounds, like maybe 20, 25 pounds or so. He's a little on the light side, which I like. I like his slender um, physique, you know, he's not, he's not a fat dog, you know, and he's nice and energetic. And he's very attentive. He's a good boy, right, Charlie? Charlie. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Speak. Ruff, 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 ruff. Wow, wow, wow. In that birthday video I did, we, um, I got him to vocalize a little bit because everyone was, was singing. So if you listen to that, that video, you'll hear him. But Charlie. Ruff, 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 ruff. That's his voice. Ruff. Make the noise. You want to play? He loves. It. Oh, he loves to play. He loves to play tug of war, which is not really that good for them because they, I think it gives them aggression. So I try not to uh, do that too much with them. You know, being having some uh, that that pit fighting uh, ancestry in them can make them be a little bit aggressive if if you do that with them a lot. So I try not to get that too much. And he has very powerful jaws. I mean, I've been bit by him accidentally a few times, and I tell you, it's no laughing matter. I mean, the, this dog, even though it's not that big, he's got a lot of power in his bite. Um, and his mouth opens up big. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. See? See what he's trying to do? He's trying to get it, and he wants to thrash. So if I just pull it, see how he thrashes? That's how they would they would have fought in the um, in the pit if they were... A fighting dog. But you hear that growl? He's growling. Growling. And then his eye, his eyes will dilate too. He does this. That's what he's trying to do. Yeah. 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 Good boy. You good boy? Wanna go out for a walk? Wanna go out for a walk? Charlie? Baby B? Yeah? You're a good boy? So what I try to do is, I, if I do anything that's a little bit aggressive with him, I try to give him some affection to try to calm him down. And they're, they're very easily trained, supposedly. They got it quite intelligent. And um, I've taught him to do a, a couple of things. Basically, I, I, I've taught him to shit on command. Uh, from when he was young, I saw another video when he was young when I was initially researching these things, and there was a guy that said, um, if, if you, when you're walking them and they're about to go to the bathroom, he starts saying a code word, and then you, they'll eventually learn that code word is, is like how you want them, how, how they know you want them to go to the bathroom. So I say, get busy. So when, he, when I say get busy and I'm walking him, I start to see his buttocks begin to uh, relax and get ready to go to the bathroom, and then he actually goes. So, that's his code word. All right, Charlie? Ruff! Charlie! Yeah? Huh? Yeah? You ready to go for a walk? Want to go for a walk? Yeah? 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 Come here. I tied him up like this so that he wouldn't run away during the video. All right, Charlie. You ready to go? Say goodbye to your, your friends and your fans. Take it easy. Trader Joe's and Charlie. Wow. 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 You ready? All right, Charlie. Take it easy. Trader Joe's and Charlie. Bye-bye.